Hi, and welcome to Soda Tech Gaming, where we look at gaming and tech from a Soda's perspective. Thanks to all my new subscribers and new friends who have just recently started checking out the channel, as I really appreciate the support. And of course, for all my returning subscribers, thanks so much. I couldn't have made all this content without you and without your continued support. We are well on our way to a thousand subscribers. Let's keep up the momentum, let's keep it going, and let's try to get 50 likes in this video. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys what my thoughts were on a game that just dropped last week called Rainbow Six Extraction. Now this is a new game from the mammoth publisher Ubisoft. And it puts you in a role of one of several operators who attempt to uncover mysteries surrounding an infection that threatens the entire human race. This game puts saving the entire world in the hands of a small group of operators. Talk about pressure, huh? The stakes are high and the pressure mounting as you and your team of operators form a group called REACT. The sole purpose of this group is to respond to events and circumstances that no one else will be able to handle. At the disposal is advanced technology, near unlimited resources, and incredible know-how that only the best of the best would be able to manage. Now these select few are called upon to help contain this and stop a mysterious infection from spreading and contaminating the entire planet. If you played Rainbow Six Siege, then the gameplay is going to be pretty familiar to you. Using silenced weapons, moving tactically is key to your survival. Also, you can injure and kill your own teammates, so it's important that you play together and as a team when you take on these various missions. So you got to try and play nice. Now characters in the game are varied and have special abilities that can be used during missions. And you can customize their loadouts before each one. Thus far in my first few hours of play, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. And it has just the right amount of intensity with more building as you play through the more difficult missions. Now the graphics, they're okay. They're pretty good, but not next gen. The characters have some good detail, but look a lot like Rainbow Six Siege characters. The environments are also pretty basic with a decent amount of detail, but you can act, you can tell this game is cross-gen. It's not a next-gen game. The overall audio is well done. You can hear the various creatures moving all around you, phones ringing in the background. Um, so yeah, if you have good quality headphones or a good surround sound system, you're going to enjoy the way the audio sounds. Now the gameplay is fun and frantic, with me and my buddies barely making it to the extraction point in one piece. Unlocking more weapons and gear, as long as and attachments throughout your playthrough, makes you feel like you're earning these last-minute victories against your faceless foes. If the character gets injured, then they will have to regenerate health, and this takes time. So you can't use the same characters over and over again. As once you finish a mission, the amount of health they have at the end of that mission is all they have. Uh, so this allows you to try different combinations. It's a cool way for you to not get stuck using the same characters all the time. Now there are some microtransactions in this game, but it looks like they're initially only for cosmetics and skins, with you having to buy in-game currency called React Coins to buy them. I'm not sure if you can earn these coins in any other way but through the store. Um, and I'm not a fan of this. Hopefully, like Rainbow Six Siege, you'll be able to earn some of these coins um, by just playing the game, unlocking, doing certain tasks or missions throughout the game. But I'm gonna get some more hours into this game. I'm gonna see if it has staying power. I'm gonna play it some more. Well, let me know what you think. Did you like Rainbow Six Siege? Are you looking to try or purchase this game? Now it's available on Game Pass, so for all my Xbox gamers and PC gamers that have Game Pass, you can take advantage of it and try it out. Now the full retail price is about 40 bucks. So let me know if you tried this game and you like it, leave a comment down below or just your thoughts. And as always, thanks for checking out my content. I'm really looking forward to continuing to post regularly and I appreciate all the support and if you watched the video all the way to the end, then thanks. If you liked it, then click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe as more videos and more content is going to be on the way. And I really appreciate it. Also, click the bell icon if you haven't to be notified when I drop new content. Until next time, get your game on, have fun, Soda Tech out.